So Google just dropped the best image model in the market. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this completely for free using NADN. So that way you can create automations with this amazing new image model. Now, this was dropped recently and based on TechCrunch, as you can see right here, it shows that actually Google Gemini's nano banana model is beating all of other uh, models in the market, including GPT image generation, which so far has been the best model to generate image. So let's go ahead and I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can utilize and use this new amazing image model inside and then completely for free. So that way you can create amazing workflows. And I'm also going to show you how you can use this particular model and this workflow to make uh, videos as well, like animated videos, whether it's kind of these POV videos or other viral videos that we're going to talk about in a little bit. All right, let's jump right in. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, they recently dropped this uh, and it has been all over the place. I mean, the one of the best aspects of this new model is that the editing features, the character consistency, and then also just the image quality that it generates is absolutely incredible. We are going to talk about a little bit about editing, editing as well, but I just want to focus on how you can use this inside your NADN workflow so that way you can uh, start to use it and create like whatever automation you choose. Now, this is going to be utilizing Google's Gemini 2.5 flash image. And the way we're going to use this for free is we're going to uh, utilize our open router account because on open router right now, Gemini 2.5 flash image preview is completely free. And I don't know how long this is going to last, but as you can see right here, it's a zero dollars per input token and zero dollars per output token. Now I've tested this several times, as you can see in my activity right here, Gemini 2.5 flash, and it is actually free because sometimes I don't trust these models when they claim that they're free. But anyway, so I'm going to show you step by step how to use this. And as you can see in the workflow, I'm literally utilizing our HTTP request node to reach out to uh, the open router APIs because we cannot use this on our AI agents. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through what this looks like so that way you can build this out yourself. So what I've done is here, I'm just using an NADN form trigger to just create a image for me and I'm just going to input something so that way it can go ahead and generate the image prompt first. And then this image prompt is going to reach out to open router API to reach out to uh, Gemini 2.5 flash, AKA the nano banana model. So let's go ahead and take a look at the demo here. So I'm just going to execute this workflow and this is going to pop up this form. I'm just going to say a large monkey holding a banana or something like that, whatever. I just want to showcase that uh, this is going to generate this automatically. And you'll see it will reach out to my open router uh, through the HTTP request. And then we're going to convert this to file. Another great thing about this I noticed is ext it's extremely fast compared to other models. So there you go. That's how easy it was. So if I go right here, if I click on view, there you go. Um, and you can see how uh, high quality it is. So let me just download this so that way we can check this out. All right, perfect. So there you go. As you can see, it is extremely high quality. And I'm going to talk about uh, how you can utilize kind of the editor to create ca character consistency. But you can see that the fact that this is free and it has this high of a quality is absolutely incredible. So make sure you take advantage of this. Like I said, I don't know how long this is going to be free for, but this is a, a good uh, resource to use. So let's go ahead and let me show you exactly what's going on. So after we enter that NADN form trigger, for those of you who don't know, you can uh, very easily add a uh, trigger in NADN and uh, you can always use the form or if you're just using a chat to uh, reach out to this particular node. Uh, but I'm just using this form trigger so that way I can enter and this uh, uh, prompt generator is going to just create a prompt for me. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm just saying you're an advanced AI specialized in transforming a short user provided description into a hyper realistic cinematic free image. And I'm just providing the user input right here, as you can see, and I'm just saying, make sure you generate the prompt and output it as one single JSON. Afterwards, this is the most important uh, node. Of course, this is how we can reach to our uh, open router. So what I'm doing is I'm using an HTTP request node. Um, so the way to do that is I'm going to go ahead and just add a node here, search for HTTP. There you go. So we're going to use a post request and we're going to reach out to the following URL. So if I go to open router and just go to models, and if you just scroll down, you'll see right here, this Google, Google Gemini 2.5 flash image preview free, click on this. 
And if you scroll to the bottom, this actually shows you uh, the, as far as how to reach out to this particular API. So right here, the base URL is going to be openrouter.ai slash API slash V1. And then obviously uh, the model, we're going to utilize this particular model. But before we do that, obviously you need to um, have this at the endpoint. So if I go back here, uh, you will see that inside my HTTP request note, so we're reaching out to this chat completion URL right here, right? So once we reach out to that, and then we're going to utilize our uh, credentials. So the way to do that is very simple. You just go to credential type, you cre uh, create open router, and then here, click on new credentials. And all you have to do is just copy and paste your open router API key. The way to do that, you're going to go to your account, you're going to click on keys, you will create a new API key, you will come back and just paste that right here. And that's all you need to do. Very, very simple. It's not that difficult. Um, afterwards, we're going to send headers. Of course, we're going to send headers called content type application.json. And most importantly, we're going to send body. And this is where we need to identify uh, and let um, uh, Gemini know or let the HTTP request know which particular endpoint to reach. So we are reaching out to this model and we're saying the role is user content. So it, it takes both text and image URL. Now we, I'm going to uh, create separate video on how we can utilize this to create a, a, a different URL, image URL, so that way we can create animated videos and advertisements. But for now, we're just going to use this text. So as you can see right here, we're going to do uh, text uh, and then uh, we're going to pro uh, provide our prompt here. So if I go ahead and uh, expand this. So there you go, model. We're reaching out to 2.5 flash image preview free. Make sure you, you're writing this uh, correctly. And then modalities is going to take image in text. We're just going to utilize the role and the content for the content. We're just grabbing this prompt. So we're literally just dragging and dropping it because I want to create this proper on uh, the prompt uh, prompt for that particular image. That's all you need to do. In the bottom, I'm just saying, make sure the response is in a JSON format. And as you can see on the right hand side, this is the output. And it, this outputs a URL for the uh, image data. And then also, so if I go to the next one, I'm just using this edit fields. So if I go right here, you can see uh, we have an image URL here that we're just using the data, the base and the mime. Now, again, the reason why I'm putting this is because I want to make sure I separate these so that way I can uh, send this to the next node so that way I can convert it to file from the base 64 string. So as you can see, if I click on show data, it just basically separates that. And now I'm utilizing uh, this um, convert to file node, which takes uh, the base and then also the output field and data. And as you can see, that's all we need. And then this is what it generates, right? This particular image right here. Okay. Now, now you know, now that you know how to create this, now what would you could do is actually utilize this to create, for example, POV videos, right? Like this, because now the image is going to be completely for free. So if I go ahead and let me bring in another workflow here. So th this is the one and you can check out the link in the description. Uh, I'm going to put for this, for this video right here. This was like the, um, POV video that I did. So if I just quickly download this, so that way I can bring this over to my workflow. So if I go to my NADN again, I'm just going to import my from file. There you go. All right. If I zoom in here, um, all right. So this is what we did. Uh, to generate these type of video uh, style. So essentially you would utilize the same thing, the form trigger to reach out. Initially, uh, earlier we were reaching out to Flux here, but now what we could do is completely replace this section with our um, our Google images here or this 2.5 uh, flash. Let me go ahead and bring that over. All right, there you go. So now I'm just going to basically bring this over and switch this, the chat chip or the flux to this uh, open router one. And that's exactly what we're doing, basically reaching out to the same thing. And now we're going to, after the image is generated, we're going to reach out to our runway ML to be able to actually animate this image. So as you can see, you can swap all of these different 
um, uh, workflows that we have done before we were using Flux or uh, Chat or Ch GPT image creator. Now we can easily switch this to this Google Gemini Flash and it works really, really well. Like I said, this, this was generated. I, uh, earlier I generated this kind of POV video in the gardens of Egypt through Gemini Flash, Gemini 2.5 Flash and this workflow that then went ahead and did the, um, automatic uh, animation there. So feel free to check that out. Uh, if you're interested in checking out these particular tutorials and all the resources, check out the community. I'm going to put the link in the description. Uh, and then also another thing is when we did those baby podcasts, right? This one that I did. So let me bring that over too. So I can show you exactly what we can do now. Cause again, before we had to use the chat GPT, uh, image generator. So if I bring this over now, let me zoom in. All right. So what we're doing is we were selecting the baby's ethnicity, the topic of discussion, and we're creating this baby podcast. That was like a complete viral video for a while. Uh, so now what we're doing, uh, and then what we have to do is reach out to, as you can see right here, the open AI image generation. And that was pretty costly because obviously open AI image generation is not free. So now same thing, we can completely replace all of these with our, um, our workflows or our Gemini 2.5 flash, because that way the quality is even better than your GPT image. But then on top of that, like I said, the fact that it's free is absolutely incredible. So yeah, check out those particular, um, uh, tries. I mean, go ahead and, and ch see if you can create your own different workflows. And if you're interested in uh, learning more and getting some tech support, please free up, f feel free to check out the community. We also have our AI agency inside our uh, community where we can show you exactly how to monetize these skills of yours because you can only watch so many tutorials, right? We got to figure out a way to take advantages of, of this amazing AI gold rush and opportunity. And you can see every day there's like a new model hitting the market. And so make sure you check out the community where we show you exactly how to utilize these skills and how to monetize this. We recently released a voice AI course. Voice AI is one of the hottest topics right now. And retail AI, which is the best voice AI platform is really blowing up in the market. So we actually partnered with them and we provide actual partnership certification. So if you go through the course and complete all of the, the, um, the trainings, we can actually certify you through retail so that way you can start selling uh, your services to uh, your clients. So make sure you check out the community. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe because I've got another few great videos that I'm going to make around the nano banana um, image model because there's a lot of use cases here. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.